Well, the deadline to file your taxes is right around the corner. Yvonne Thomas takes a closer look at how the ongoing pandemic and new legislation is impacting the filing season. Tax preparers are getting a lot of questions this year about stimulus checks and unemployment benefits. According to the IRS website, if you didn't get the full amount of the first or second economic impact payments, you may be eligible to claim the 2020 recovery rebate credit. You have to file a tax return now, even if you had zero dollars to get your stimulus, and we're doing many, many of those. Terry Reed is the financial literacy manager with VITA. VITA, or Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, is a free tax service for those with low to moderate income. The service used to be first come, first serve, but because of the COVID-19 pandemic, you must make an appointment this year. And only three of five locations are open within the Knoxville, Knox County Community Action Committee. But the ongoing pandemic isn't the only challenge they're facing. Tax preparers are waiting new instructions from the IRS about unemployment benefits now that the American Rescue Plan Act of 2021 under President Biden is in effect. It changed the way unemployment is looked at from a tax standpoint. Unemployment was taxable. Now the first $10,200 is non-taxable. So all the people that have already filed their unemployment, we may need to do amendments for you. We're still waiting on the IRS to give us direction on if it's something they can do internally, because that would mean more money back to the client, or if it's something we have to do as an amendment. According to the IRS, you should file electronically, use direct deposits for the quickest refunds, and check irs.gov for the latest tax information.